Hi guys, that was my phone, sorry. I uh, wanted to show you this wig first off. This wig, I'm going to be uh, Ariel from The Little Mermaid on Halloween, and I did a little bit of, like, I don't know if you can see my eye makeup, but I did some eye makeup. I'm not really talented in the eyeshadow department, but I'm practicing right now so I can get better at it on Halloween. I'm not doing anything special on Honol ugh, on Honolulu. On Halloween, I'm probably just going to go trick-or-treating. I know I'm too old to go trick-or-treating, blah, blah, blah. But you know what? I want some candy. And you know what? I'm going to get some free candy. Uh, so this is the 15 random questions tag. And I'm also going to do an update on my life at the end of this, like you guys even care. But <laughs> anyways, let's get started. The first rush, bleh, I can't crush question does not have an R in it. The first question is, what's a nickname only your family calls you? Well, there's many nicknames my family calls me. Um, they call me mainly KK, which my brother calls me KK, but who else calls me a name? Yeah, it's mainly just KK or Kayla, but recently it's Faye because that's my new name. Uh, so, you know, that's that. Okay, question number two is, what's a weird habit of yours? I don't know. I don't know if I have a weird habit. Oh, no, no. This isn't a weird hab. <coughs> I'm dying, y'all. Weird habit. I can bitch a lot. I bitch so much when I'm sick, um, and bitch in general. I whine and bitch and just bitch and whine. That's, that's my, my habit. I'm annoying as fuck. I'm like, oh my god, is something going to, like, kill us, or someone's gonna come and murder us, or we're gonna have a bad day, or something like that. I just worry constantly. That's one of my weird habits. Okay, question number three. This wig is itchy as hell. It was only $15 on eBay, but it'd be looking cute sometimes. This is my second time wearing it, and I actually love it. It's really long. It goes longer than my titty and goes down to my, my fat, you know? Anyways, number three. Do you have any weird phobias? I'm scared of butterflies. Mainly because they, they're, I don't know. I'm scared of anything, any bug that flies. If it's a bee, I don't really care because, you know, bees, they don't want to hurt you. But if it's a yellow jacket or a wasp or a dragonfly or a big-ass fly or a butterfly or a mosquito, I'm scared of those things, you guys. I am terrified of mosquitoes. If I'm looking down, I'm sorry, there is a mirror right here. And I don't know why I keep on looking at myself. I'm not conceited or whatever, but anyways, I am scared of butterflies. That's one of my phobias. And the dark. I don't think that that is, like, a weird phobia. But it's, um, it's, it's normal to be afraid of the dark. Okay, number four. What's a song you secretly love to blast and belt out when you're alone? Hmm. <laughs> Recently, I have been blasting When Christmas Comes to Town. It's the song off of the Polar Express soundtrack. I cannot stop singing it. It is one of my favorite songs of the month or the week or whatever the fuck. So yeah, that's the song I love to belt. Uh, okay, number five. What's one of your biggest pet peeves? Okay, um, I think I have one, uh, I have many though, I think, okay, one of them would have to be, oh, my biggest pet peeve, damn it, would have to be annoying ass people, or rude people, like, if you are going to talk to me or my friends, like you own the place and like you think you're better than everybody like you can go you can go fuck yourself also annoying people people who won't shut the fuck up and like just won't stop bugging you children specifically no offense I don't hate children I'm just saying like some children can just get right up in your face and you just can't you can't slap a child 
so you can't just tell a child to go, you know, go, go eat that rat poison. No, <laughs> but um, that's what I hate. I hate annoying and rude ass people. Number six, what's one, I can't read my own handwriting, y'all. I suck at writing. What's one of your nervous habits? I touch my chin and my, I just touch my face when I'm nervous and that's how I break out. I'm breaking out now, but I put on some cover up, which probably is just making it look like I have a crusty ass, you know, herpy right there. But you know, it's not herpy. It's just like, it's just a zit and it will go away. I, that's one of my nervous habits. I touch my face and I pinch my lip and I bite my cheeks and you know, I get, I get sores in my mouth when I bite my cheeks and that's, it's, it's a stupid habit to do because you can, it'll, it hurts sometimes. Okay. Number seven, what side of the bed do you sleep on? Well, I sleep on my bed upside down. Um, cause normally if you would sleep on your bed, you'd probably sleep when you're, with your head by the door, I guess. But I sleep with my head back here facing the door. So if a murderer tries to come in and murder me, I have mace by my bed and a knife. So I'll be ready. I also keep my phone there too, just in case I need to dial 911 really quick. Okay. Number eight. What was your first stuffed animals? What was one? Oh shit. What was your first stuffed animal, and what did you name it? Uh, I can't really remember that far back. It was... I can't remember that far back. It was probably a stuffed... A beanie baby lamb when I was a child, and I probably named it Lammy or some other name. I don't remember. It was a black... It was either a black lamb or a white lamb. I can't remember, but I, I loved that thing. Number nine. What's the drink you always order at Starbucks? I don't go to Starbucks that often, but when I do, I would either mostly order the um, vanilla bean frappuccino, or uh, right now I'm just ordering a pumpkin spice latte, which uh, is the typical white girl thing to do, but I am not the typical white girl. I don't like Starbucks. I don't like coffee. It's, it's I don't, I mean, nothing against Starbucks. There's, their coffee's okay. I just don't like coffee in general, so. Whatever. Um, ten. What's the beauty rule you always preach but never actually practice? Well, I don't really, sh like, say beauty tips because who am I to give beauty tips? Uh, I don't really do that. So, like, if I, and I'm gonna skip that one. I don't actually give beauty advice or preach beauty advice at all. Well, hair, but I always practice and preach my hair when, when I tell someone else to do what the fuck I want that is good for their hair, I do for my hair, so. 11. Which way do you face the shower? What the fuck type of question is that? Of course, towards the shower head. Like, if I do it backwards, I'm gonna slip and get the freaking spigot up my asshole. Why would you... Why would you stand backwards, like, so you don't get soap in your eyes? Like, wouldn't soap in your eyes be better than smacking your butt crack on the water spigot? Like, I don't know. Like, no. I, that's a dumbass question. Anyways, 12. Do you have any weird body skills? I mean, I can move my nose. And I can, like, hmm, I can move. I know that's kind of rare, and I can move my ears, but you can't really see it because I'm wearing a wig. So I guess that's a weird body skill. I have a double-jointed thumb, if you can see that with my nasty-ass unpainted nails. Anyways, number 13, my favorite number. What's your favorite comfort food that is bad, but you you eat always? My cat is meowing at my door. Ignore that. He always does that. He wants to come in, but I don't let him. Okay, I always eat everything that's bad because I don't like anything healthy. I hate water. I hate vegetables. Well, no. I like Brussels sprouts and spinach, but, you know, ugh, I don't eat it all the time. And 
you know, I eat everything that's unhealthy. And it, so the main comfort food I would go for lately has been sweet foods. Like, I never eat candy. I never eat sweets. But lately, I have been eating the sweets. I'm not even kidding. Like, so many candies. I'm gaining so much weight doing that, and I need to I need to calm the fuck down with that. Okay, number 14. What phrase or exclamation, whatever the fuck that means, you always say? I've been saying whore a lot. I've been calling people whores, like my cats. My cats are people, so I call them whores. I say bitch all the time. I say fuck. But the main phrase that I say is whore. Or bitch, you know. Oh, there's a freaking gnat in my room. I'm gonna die. Don't those carry Ebola or something? Anyways, 15, last one. Time to sleep. What are you actually wearing? Clothing. I'm joking. Yeah, I'm wearing clothing. I wear just like a shirt and some candy corn, uh, what is that called? JJ bottoms. Like, I don't sleep naked. I don't understand how people can, can sleep naked. Like, I'm a boy, and we wake up with boners, if you did not know that. And I don't want to wake up with a boner, like, naked. Like, that's not cute. It's not. I don't know if women wake up, um, wet. Ooh, that's kind of gross to say. Not gonna say that. Ooh, gross. Okay. So, you know, that's the last thing on there. I, I sleep in clothes like any other person would. Uh, I mean, in the summertime, I would sleep, I would sleep, like, maybe in boxers and a shirt. I don't like sleeping naked or, like, with my shirt off because I think that's a little uncomfortable. And what if you did sleep naked and your parents walk in and you're like, oh, fuck, I'm not masturbating, but, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, anyways, I, uh, I'm sorry I haven't posted a video in a while. It's been a big month, a bad month last month. We just had some problems. Uh, we got our power turned off, blah, blah, blah. Not going to get into it. So, yeah. I'm also going to my doctor soon. And I am going to talk to her about hormones and also some other things that are going on with me. I have been feeling very, very sick. Uh, stomach aches, headaches, really dizzy. My ears have been burning and ringing. And uh, just, like, pain in my stomach also running low grade fever so I have been putting off going to the doctor because I don't want to go and find out that I have cancer or something like that because I know that cancer runs in my family and I just don't want to get bad news like that and then have to tell them and we've already been through a little bit too much this year and I don't want us to have to deal with someone else getting sick so yes if you guys have any questions, sorry, I keep on looking at myself in the mirror. I just love this wig, you guys. I love red hair on me. I learned how to do the lip pop sometimes, the mouth pop that drag queens do. It's so fun, you guys. I scared my cat last night doing it. It was awesome. Anyways, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I hope you guys can see my titties because, I'm sorry, that was a little messed up. I hope you guys can see whatever because I always do my outro like that. So, um, remember, like this video, subscribe if you, bleh. <laughs> okay, like this video, subscribe if you want, you really don't have to, but I really appreciate it, and have a good night, and also have a good Halloween, I'm probably gonna post a video on Halloween, so, yeah, so yeah, bye, titties. My cat just fell. <laughs> Did you hear that? That was awesome. Okay, anyways, titties.